All right, so today we're gonna take a look at the deadlift. Uh, what an awesome uh, compound exercise, uh, powerlifting movement, Olympic lift. Uh, the deadlift uh, pretty much um, says it all. It's a very technical lift, looks simple, the name sounds simple, but there's quite a bit we have to work with. So why don't we start by first taking a look at what is a deadlift. Maria's gonna demonstrate it for us, so go ahead, Maria. Let's do, say, three lifts. Nice. And let it go. Beautiful. All right. So that's a deadlift. So what are we looking at? Well, it looks pretty straightforward. It looks like uh, Maria simply picking the weight up off the floor and picking it up. As this weight gets heavier, though, it becomes a lot more complex than simply picking weight up off the floor. Let's take a look at some simple physics. This is a 20 pound dumbbell. It's not a big deal for somebody like Maria. Um, and I'm gonna make a point here. So Mer, if you could just turn and face the camera. So Maria, you'll notice is holding the weight and there's a good chance that she and I can converse for quite a long time before she says, honestly, this is getting heavy. Um, <laughs> um, but what I want you to notice is how she naturally just holds this right next to her body. Uh, the body naturally tries to conserve as much energy as possible. It's a, it's a natural progression, it's fine. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move her arm out here. This is still a 20 pound weight. I'm gonna ask Maria to hold that. I promise you, just look at the expression on her face. There's a time limit to how long she's gonna be able to hold this. And it's still the same 20 pound dumbbell. What changed? Physics, right? So what, what happened is I've had her now take the weight away from her body she no longer has leverage working in her favor. I'll take that, Murray, thank you. <laughs> All right, so that's one of the first things we need to understand about the deadlift. The other thing we need to understand is again using leverage in your favor. So we're gonna go back to an old uh, but favorite exercise called the tug of war. So let's just take a quick look at that now. All right, so now when I have a new client learning how to deadlift, one of the first things I need to teach them is uh, the basic concepts of leverage. Uh, and these concepts were learned as children. We used to play a game called the tug of war. And almost everybody's familiar with that game, but what I want you to watch is particularly how leverage is used when doing a tug of war. So go ahead, Maria, you're gonna take your end. We're gonna use this line here as a divide. And very basically, uh, Maria's gonna try and pull me across that line, or I'm gonna try and pull Maria across the line, but what I'd like you to watch is uh, the body language that's being used. All right, so Maria, whenever you're ready, start pulling. Now notice how low Maria has dropped her butt to the ground. Uh, if she drops even lower, she'll get even more leverage. Now why is she lowering herself so much? Uh, because I weigh too much by comparison for Maria, so she needs to use a lot of leverage. So she actually drops her body closer to the ground and more importantly, she's actually leaning back as much as possible to get maximum leverage to try and pull me across this line. If I offer up very little leverage, sorry, if I offer up very little resistance, and this is all obviously directly related to how heavy is the weight that you're lifting. So the heavier the weight, the more you're gonna have to really lean back and create as much leverage as possible. Um, back up just a touch more, more. Okay, good. So now here, if you're lifting a weight that is not super heavy, uh, how much leverage does your body really need? Well, let's see, go ahead, Mer. Pull me across. And you'll notice she hardly had to bend there, and that's because I wasn't really offering a lot of resistance. So the amount of resistance I offered is equal to how much leverage she used, which is the same as when you're doing weight. So when you lift the weight and it's relatively light, you might have to use a little bit of leverage. When you're lifting weight and it's really heavy, you gotta learn how to use leverage by pulling away from the weight. And that's what I really want you to get. A deadlift is not just about lifting the weight straight up. It has a lot to do with leveraging your body weight back while you're holding on to that bar. It becomes your counterbalance. So you use as much leverage as you can on that lift. All right, so now how do we apply um, the laws of physics and the tug of war to a deadlift? 
Well, first thing we want to do is obviously we want to address the bar right up to the bar. Because the further that bar is away from your shins when you're picking it up, the greater uh, you're making, the greater the weight or the feel of the weight because you're now putting physics against you. Keep the bar glued to your body. Maria's gonna take what we call a reverse grip. Uh, so what that pretty much means is whichever hand you like to use to write your name with, keep that hand in a normal position, rotate the opposite hand in the opposite position. So now you have what's called a reverse grip. What I'm looking for from a coaching point of view is I wanna make sure her scapula is directly above her hand and she is now getting ready because this is uh, not exactly lightweight. She's now getting ready to lean away into her tug of war. She's not just coming up. Go ahead, Mer, pick it up. Awesome. So there what she did was she completely leverages back on the lift and as the lift starts getting to this position, she starts to ease off the leaning back. Otherwise, she would just fall over. Bring it back down. Good. So an actual deadlift, can you step back a, bit, a second, Mer? An actual deadlift is really lifting the bar. It has nothing to do with much else. So this is a, a, an actual lift. It's a lift. It's not about putting it back down. However, we often encourage our athletes to work muscles in both directions. So that being said, Maria, let's come back into this. Again, address the bar correctly. Get your reverse grip. Here's a small but such an important tip. Your elbows are gonna be just on the outside of your knees. Make sure your knees are pushing into your elbows, but your elbows are staying locked out, saying to the knees, you're not going anywhere. So in reality, what you're doing is you're creating a fight between your arm and the knees where a battle is going on and you stay solid. This will bring tremendous stability to that knee joint and help you further engage the right alignment and muscles to make this lift. Let's take it up again. Beautiful, bring it back down. Stay on your heels, let's go again. Awesome, put it back down, release it, stand up. Good, and one more time, we're gonna go for it again. Yeah, awesome. All right, so there's your deadlift, and this is what I want you to really focus on, right? You got a few really clever tips, use them. Reverse grip, the fight between your knees, the arms, the leverage going back, and of course, the initial setup, uh, simple physics. Keep it always working in your favor so that you can hit personal records more often.